Okay, not really intending on going down the uh, metal house robots hole, if you will. But I was walking by and I decided, you know, I don't think I've ever run these back when Metal House still existed in Japan. They were making all kinds of different robots, more than you could keep keep up with. And I don't think I've ever run them. I think I bought these and just let it go with that. Now this particular one was a collaboration with Metal House and Robot Island. And I just stuck some batteries in it and it seemed to be running, but the only thing it's not doing is it's not uh, beaming the eyes. I think on here somewhere, yeah. Lighted beaming eyes. Well, not on mine, and now that they're out of business, I guess I can't complain. This one, I can't read Japanese, so I have no idea what it says. Maybe one of you clever viewers can tell me what that says. Oh, it says, it says cockpit robot. Right here on the side. I'm sure if it's that way in English, then it must be that way in Japanese. As you can see, it was a metal house. Cockpit robot. And just tells you don't disassemble it. 2005. So I imagine since these both are kind of similar, they both probably came out about the same time. Let's start with the Let's start with the cockpit robot. It's just standard rotomatic, and uh, being that Metal House was in Japan, you can kind of faintly see the Japan stamp on the back. To get enough room to put a cockpit in there, they got rid of the big D-cell battery holder and just go with two AA batteries. And that gives them more depth for putting in a little tin guy in the cockpit and some lights and all that good kind of stuff. I'll hold it here at first, and then we'll set it down so when it's running you have that and when it's rotating you get the flashing down below good walker very stable okay so that's the cockpit robot let's take a look now at the Apollo the mechanized Apollo Okay, same thing. You can see the made in Japan, and you got your same two double A's in there instead of the D cells. Got your standard uh, ratchet feet, all tin construction. Let's hold it up here for the first run. Ooh, there's a light in the eyes now. You have to look down low to see it, or in my case, up high. I'm going to aim the camera so it can see it in there. See it in there? Way down in there. Well, that's good. I'm glad that the eyes are working. <clears throat> I first put the batteries in it a little bit ago. It wasn't. It just needed a little persuasion. So... An actual filament light bulb. And I'm assuming by the appearance of what I'm seeing on all, all these others, they are too. So that's actually asking quite a bit of the toy because they'll have two, uh, two grain of wheats back here and the one in the head, and those are on all the time, plus the motor, all running off of two uh, AA batteries. Then you'll have the other light back behind these gels. They look like LEDs, but they're not. On the clicker, so be up to four lights and a motor, all on two double A's. They're they're asking a lot, and it's kind of doing it. It's not super good speed-wise, a little bit sluggish, but it was uh, pulling it off. And so there you have it. You got your cockpit robot and your mechanized Apollo Roboteer, made by Metal House in Japan. I'd say according to the date on this one. Somewhere around 2005, somewhere in that vicinity.